coordinate geometry. Now, a lot of students dislike this, but it is really much easier than you think. Let's start off by describing what is gradient. G-R-A-D-I-E-N-T. In English, this is also known as the slope. So the gradient is really a measurement of how steep the slope is. So for example, this slope is definitely more steep than this slope. But if we were to talk about it like this, it is really very imprecise. We want to know exactly how steep this slope is and how, how steep this slope is. We don't want to say that this is steeper than this, but how much? By how much exactly? So to describe this, let's put this on a coordinate system. So for example, we have a coordinate system, x, y axis, and then we want to put this slope on a different coordinate system. So let's draw this out. Now, the first slope, something like this. The definition of the slope is really just to take the height divided by the base. So in this example, if the height and the, and the base is 4 units apart, the gradient is simply just the height divided by the base. So it's 4 over 4 is equals to 1. Now for the second example, you have a more gentler slope and the length of the base say it's 4 but the height is only half, it's 2. So the gradient, always denoted by m and defined as the height over base, is equals to 2 over 4 which is half. So now we can talk about the gradient exactly. There is a number associated to it. One, this gradient is one, the other gradient is half, so this is twice as steep as this. So since gradient is denoted by the height over the base, now if your slope doesn't start from the point zero, zero, it starts from any point, say this is your coordinate and your slope starts from here, you want to find the height and then you want to divide by the base. Now the height is simply just this number minus this number. So if you have these two coordinates, now this is coordinate A and this is coordinate B. So if coordinate B has these values, x, b, which is this number, this is x, b, this number is, let's call it x, a, then this number is a uh, y, b, because this is the y value of coordinate b, and then this number, let's call it y, a. So the coordinate of this point will be x, b, y, b, and for here it is x, a, y, a. The formula will always be y, b minus y, a over x, b minus x, a. So the values are the difference between the two coordinates, the two y coordinates divided by the difference between the two x coordinates. Now mathematically you can show that this is also equals to y a minus y b over x a minus x b. I'll leave it as exercise for you to prove this. But here you have the gradient. So remember this by heart. The gradient is always the value of the height divided by the value of the base. Let us take this opportunity to take a look at some features of the gradient. Now remember we are using the coordinate system where the positive values are pointing upwards and to the right. So this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So with this coordinate system, if your slope is in this direction, it will be a positive value. So m will be positive. Now if the slope is in the other direction, like this, m will always be a negative value. Why? Because when you take y, the height, so this is clearly a higher value than this, so y, this, this y minus this y is a positive value. And then you want to divide by this x over this x minus this x 
this x is always a smaller value than this x. So you will have a negative value for the base, but a positive value here, so your gradient will always be negative. So remember this. This is really useful for you. Now, if it is a horizontal line, the gradient will be 0 because y minus y is 0. Okay, I'm going to write the formula of the gradient here. m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And if the y values are the same, it will be 0 on the numerator. So it really doesn't matter how long your line is. Your gradient will be 0. And conversely, if your slope is like that, now what do you think? What is the slope? If you forget about math and you think about it in English, what is the slope? Now steep will be an understatement. This vertical line will be infinity. So the slope will be infinite, which the math describes quite well. Because the math will, will give you something, some value, and it's divided by zero. It's not defined. So let's, let's take a look at the practice question. You have two points, C and D, and C is of this coordinate. D is 6, 3. So find the gradient. So you can draw or you can don't draw. I'm going to do both. But if you follow the formula, the gradient is simply just y1, which is 1, minus y2, which is 3, over x1 minus x2. Now, always remember that if you take y1 here, you have to take x1 here. You can't take y1 and then x2. Always keep it together as one step. So this is equal to minus 2 over 3 minus 3. And your gradient is 2 third. So remember, I said that if your gradient is a positive value, it will be in this orientation, not the other one. So let's try to sketch this and see if we are on the right track. So you have your axis, and you have maybe this is 3, this is 1. So 3, 1 is here, which is your first point. So this is point C. And then for point D, it is 6, maybe 3 is somewhere here. So this is point D. And yes, we are right. The gradient is in this direction. Another example, so points M, minus 4, 1, and point N, 16, 1, find the gradient. So the formula, if we were to apply, will be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So this is equals to 1 minus 1 over minus 4 minus 16, which will give you 0. So this, you know, is a horizontal line. The gradient is 0. If we were to plot it on a graph, let's sketch this. So you have minus 4, 1 here. And then you have 16, 1, maybe somewhere here. And we are right, it's, an, it's a horizontal line. 